Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to check whether a particular element is displayed on the web page or not. In Selenium Python, to check whether an element is displayed on the page, we have to use a command known as is displayed command, is underscore displayed command. This is how we have to use is displayed command in Selenium Python, guys, you see, whatever the element that is found here, whether that particular element is displayed on the page or not. For that, we have to use the command is displayed. Let me practically demonstrate with few examples for this command, guys, for understanding this command. So let me switch to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written as part of explaining the previous session. So I'll clear out uh, most of this stuff, guys, okay? I'll clear out most of this stuff and I'll leave only the stuff that is required for this topic. So this Selenium script will open this Firefox browser. This Selenium Python script is going to open the Firefox browser and then it's going to maximize the browser. And then it's going to open this application URL in the browser like this, okay? It will open this application URL in the browser like this. Now I want to check whether a particular element is displayed on the page or not. For example, I want to check whether, uh, you know, this text area field is displayed or not. Okay, I want to check whether this particular, after loading this page, whether this text area field is available on this page or not, I want to check. How to do that? For that, I have to find this text area field. I'll inspect this text area field. And uh, this is HTML code of this uh, text area field. As you can see, it has an ID, copy this ID. And here, write down, I want dot find element by dot ID, give the ID of that particular uh, text area field. Okay, ID attribute value of this particular text area field. and this particular element is displayed on the page or not. You see text area field is clearly displayed on the page. It's displayed on the page, right? So here I'll say dot, okay, dot is displayed command, okay? I'll have to use dot is underscore displayed command. This command will return a Boolean value. If this particular web element is displayed on the page, then is displayed command will return true. Otherwise, is displayed command will return false. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write if, I'm going to write some if condition here, if, and I'll make this Boolean value as a if condition expression and provide a colon here, okay? If this element is displayed, then print text area field, text area field is displayed on the page, okay? Otherwise, if the element is not available, I'm going to print not displayed, simple, okay? Not displayed not displayed. Here also I'll make it simple guys. I'll simply print out displayed. If displayed text is printed means this particular text area field is displayed on the page. After that, I want to close the browser guys. Driver dot I will say. Uh, and then let me run this code. Run this. So it will open the Firefox browser, maximize the browser window, open the application URL. Then it will check whether the text area field is up, uh, displayed on the page or not. Okay. So it's opening the Firefox browser. Then you see text area field is displayed on the page. So it is printing what displayed got printed in the output. Okay. That means is displayed has written true. That's why this print statement got printed. Okay. If it has written false, not displayed would have been printed. Okay. Since displayed got printed means is displayed got written true. If true means this statement will be executed. After that, the browser got quit. So what is a, a general place where we use is displayed? Uh, I'll give you one more example, guys. Okay. So let's say I'll go to this application ninja.com slash demo application. I'll take you to this uh, application. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to the login page and I'm going to give some valid credentials here. Like this valid username, valid password I'm going to give and click on the login button. Now, how can I confirm that the user got really logged in? Let's say these options, edit your account information, change your password, modify your address book address, modify your, this kind of options will be only accessible by the user who got logged in already, right? For the user who got logged in already, these options will be visible or accessible. Other people cannot access. Non-logged in users cannot access these options. So after, after entering the username, password and clicking on the email password and clicking on the login button, right? If the user has really logged in, this option should be displayed on the page, right? I will verify whether this option is displayed on the page to confirm whether the user has really logged in or not. To confirm whether a user has really logged in or not, I will check whether this option is displayed on the page after clicking on the login button. So let's automate that. I'll show you again. 
let's automate this. I'll copy this URL, guys, and uh, take that URL into this get command. So here, Firefox browser will be closed, uh, open, and uh, it will be maximized. It will be uh, the URL will be opened in this application. I mean browser. Okay, this application URL will be opened in the browser, and after that, here I'll be writing some code. That is, I will perform some actions to log into the application to confirm whether the user got really logged in or not. I'll use the is displayed command to check one of the options that we is displayed only for the logged in user. Okay, so here. After going to this application page with the help of the Selenium Python using this get command and Firefox browser and maximizing the browser and opening the application URL in the browser, then what I'm going to do is I have to go to the login page to navigate to the login page. I have to click on this my account and inspect this my account is. When I inspect this my account, this HTML code of this my account got displayed. I have to create a locator for locating this uh, my account. It, there is no ID name or class. Multiple classes are there. I cannot use class. It's not a hyperlink. We cannot use link text. I'll go with export expression, guys. Copy this my account and simply say control F double slash span tag uh, text is equal to whatever the text between the tags I copied already for that element my account and press enter you see like this I create an xpath expression which is locating this my only one of one is there so using this xpath expression I can locate this my account so here I'll write down driver dot find element by dot xpath give the xpath expression for locating that my account and I'll simply say click case okay when I click on this my account what will happen this register and login options will come. I want to go to the login page. I'll inspect this login option now. So you see, this is a link text. The anchor tag is there and text between the tags is there. So I can create a link text for that. I'll simply write down driver dot find element by dot link text and give the link text and say dot click. Okay. When I say click, login will be taken to the login page. And here I need to enter the email address and password. I'll inspect this uh, email address field. See ID input email is there. I'll copy that. I'll simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID is there for the email field. I'll give the email email ID. <coughs> I, uh, sorry. I'll give the ID locator of that particular email address field and I'll type send keys command here. So I'll give valid email address here. I'll enter the valid email address into the email address field like this. After that, I'll inspect this password field. This password field also has an ID. I can locate this password field with the help of ID. I'll simply write driver dot find element by dot ID of that password field. I'll give here and simply type dot send keys. And here I'll enter the valid password that is one two three four five in this case. Okay, already this account is created with this email and password. The valid password is one two three four five. And here when I say one two three four five, when I click on the login button, I'll inspect this login button. And um, for this, there is no ID name or class, class, multiple classes are there, and this is not a link text. I'll go with XPath expression, control F, input tag is there, and value, value attributes, value is login. I'll copy this log login, and here write down double slash input, at the rate value is equal to, at the rate value is equal to, give that value, that is login value, and press enter. You see, only one element is getting located, that is nothing but this HTML code element, that is nothing but login button. Okay, copy this, and write down driver dot, Find element by dot xpath give the xpath expression of that login button and what I have to do on the button I have to click on the button dot click the moment I click on the button when I click on the button with this valid credentials the user has to get logged in okay visually I can confirm that user got logged in because all these options are coming since these options are displayed on the page I can clearly confirm that user got successfully logged in okay without that you will not get edit your account information okay. You cannot edit the account information without without logging in, right? So you cannot change the password without logging in, right? So by verifying any of these options got displayed on the page, we can confirm whether the user got logged in or not. So I'll write the script here like this: if if driver dot find element driver dot I'll inspect this uh, edit your account one of the option I'll I can take any of these options I'll take edit your account information and inspect that. You see this looks like a link text. Right? There is some text between the anchor text, so I'll copy this. And here I'll write down driver dot find element by dot link text give the link text text between the tags of that uh, anchor tag and say dot is displayed I'll say simply if this edit your account information link is link element is displayed on the page I can confirm that okay user got user got logged in successfully else else Fringe login failed. Login failed. Okay. That means user has not logged in successfully. 
After that, I'll clo close the browser. Simple. Okay. Here I'll give some for demo purpose. I'll give some time dot uh, click so that you can see visually that user got logged in or not. I'll give three seconds only, not much. Let's run this. Right click, run main. That is the Firefox browser launch. It let it maximize. Let it open the application URL. That is tutorialsinja.com slash demo. And after that, it has to click on the my account and then select the login option. And you see it got logged in already. This okay. And uh, you see user got logged in successfully. Got printed here. Okay. If the user got logged in successfully, that has got passed already. Okay. That has got passed. So hope okay, so you understood how to use this is displayed command in Selenium Python as part of checking whether the element web element is displayed on the required page or not. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.